we are building an MMO together. In three years, Freedom will go IPO, get a huge cash injection that will allow us to fund the production of this. This MMO that you are helping us spec out right now and in three years it'll begin production. In the meantime, let's get all the design done right. Yesterday, we talked about the first four key elements. Click this video right here in case you missed it to catch up to what we're talking about today, the fifth and forward feature of this MMO. You will get to contribute your ideas in an orderly and votable way soon. For now, write them down in your own Google Sheet. Here is concept five. Unique player experience. Is there anything unique for each player? The problem is that you are a fly on the game's windshield. Everything you've done is wiped away as soon as it happens. You defeat that boss and he responds. Guys, if there was a Bill Gates in a game, there would be 500 Bill Gates's making 500 Microsofts. What is the fun in that? There needs to be a unique concept, a unique achievement that's done once and that's it. There should be only one Bill Gates and only one Microsoft. So we'll create a quest generator that will algorithmically make new and exciting quests that are unique so that you don't feel like a fly on the game's windshield. Next feature, peer points. How am I doing compared to others at my level? Games normally show the top players. Who are the best players with the most achievements? And are you going to be in that list? Probably not. So we don't want to only reward the top 1% or 0.1% of people. We want to create a top 10 for every category at all levels. So when you're level 2, then you're going to have to see all the people in level 2 that are near you to motivate you to get past them, to see that you're growing relative to people in your area. That's going to be a feature called peer points in this new MMO. Recycling program. Do your actions at level one have any meaning at level 50? Of course, we're going to have items that you get at the very beginning of the game that still make sense at the end of the game. They're not just throwaway garbage that you just, like in most MMOs, uh, have no value after you've passed a certain level. So the suggestion is, that things that you do at the beginning will have meaning at the end and that's through a recycling program. So everything can be used in a way to enhance end game as well as beginning game items and that will make it much more meaningful so you're not just throwing away everything every few levels. Next feature, casual friendly. Can five minutes be meaningful in this MMO? Yes! We don't want to make an MMO where you have to spend five hours to do anything meaningful. What's the point of that? That's for kids who have way too much time on their hands. We want to reward people for five minutes of play in a meaningful way. And Ebony is a good example of a popular browser-based game where you can do something even for five minutes to help you advance further meaningfully in that game. And the last feature we're going to talk about is meaningful in this episode. How many frog ears does that merchant need? Most quests are make work programs in current MMOs and they make you do work for no real meaning. So the suggestion is to make every quest part of a living world based on supply and demand. You're not just going to get 10 frog ears 500,000 times because a merchant doesn't need 5 million frog ears. <laughs> so players will do things that once it's done will be over. Like for example, if you discover a recipe that adds 15% health um, more than the current best food, then you can sell that recipe to an NPC guild. And that now creates new ingredients and new recipes for better food and supply and demand will determine how many frog ears, if that's an ingredient in this recipe, is actually needed to make recipes for the players to buy. So it'll be a full, real-world, living example of supply and demand. I hope you've enjoyed the tips so far. This is only episode two of Making an MMO. I hope I've influenced you in a positive way. Influence is my one word or phrase that uniquely identifies who I am, what excites me, what is true at my core is influence. Click this video right here in case you missed my influence video where I ask you to tell me what your word or phrase is that uniquely identifies you, 
watch that video so that you can tell me in the comments below as well as see what other people have said is their one word or phrase. Who am I? I am George and this is Freedom. I founded Freedom and MGN, the multi-gaming network, the MCN for gamers, and you've been watching Let's discover freedom. Click the first video to learn what is freedom and how it helps you grow. Click the second video to learn about sponsorships for all freedom partners, even if you have just 10 subscribers. And click the other videos like how do I leave freedom to learn more. Click get more views to learn how to build your audience faster on YouTube. Click get more CPM to learn how to make more money from your channel and click get more music to learn where to get more music to spice up your videos. Click the first playlist to watch The George Show on Freedom. That's my show. Or watch The Anthony Show or The Alex Show also on Freedom. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom family. You are part of it. We are all part of it. And we're all growing together. So grow with us and partner with Freedom. That Play Now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started. Your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Now